Hey guys, what's going on? April 18th, 2024. Uh, officially five days lower in the markets. <laughs> and Kramer, I mean, Jim Kramer, he, he don't know what the fuck is a move to. So finally, in today's show, I, I just watched the guys. I have to record this. I mean, this is funny as shit. So he's like, well, look at this. The market in the morning, it goes up and then it drops. And then it goes up the next morning and then uh, it drops again. And then it goes up and it drops and does that fucking five days in a row. Guys, Somebody tell fucking Kramer what a move to is. That's what he's describing. He just don't know what the fuck that is. Okay. So for those of you guys that are in the know about the move to, you make good fucking money in the markets and, uh, you know, congratulations. Okay. But don't miss the 500 extra guys. I'm going to be posting uh, multiple videos about the 500 X trade and, and it's actually on the call side. I know we're so fucking bearish in the market, but there is a 500x trade in the making. And I want you guys to be a part of it. So don't miss it. Uh, visit 13mmtv.com. Click the big orange button. Schedule a call to get on this 500x trade. Okay. But uh, let's review uh, besides the move too, that is so obvious to everyone that understands 13 market moves and how to trade. It's a short to bounce move. The market bounces, you short it. Why? Because the market has rolled over. The roll has happened. It's in the progress. The market is unwinding to the downside. ATR is pointing to a move expansion where to the downside. Uh, all the death crosses on all the charts are pointing to a move to the downside. And Kramer is like, well, I guess I can see a fucking pattern here. The market goes higher in the morning and then it drops for the rest of the day. It's a move too, damn it. All right, so now that we've got the move to structure out of the way, guys, and for those of you who still don't know what the fuck is a move to, the, the like clueless, like Kramer, oh my God, what happens? It goes up and then it drops, it goes up and then it drops. Okay, get a 13 market move scores, make your life easy as a trader, okay? Um, but uh, Netflix, guys, Netflix is another bear sign, okay? So first you get Kramer staring like a, a, a deer at the headlights. Oh, what is going on? It's uh, It goes higher and then it drops. It goes higher and then it fucking drops. Okay, that's a move too. And then you got Netflix. Okay, hello. <laughs> what does Netflix do after earnings? It goes higher and then what the fuck does it do? It drops. Okay, well, hallelujah to 13 market moves. It's a move too. It's a move to any chart you're going to look at. Everything that's pumping, what is it going to do? It's going to dump. It's a move to formation. Because everything that is pumping, guys, in the last, I don't know how many videos, 20, 30 videos, I've been pointing out when we've been looking at the charts, what? That things go up on very, very low volume in relation to the volume on when things are dropping. So it doesn't matter where you trade crypto. It doesn't matter where you trade commodities. It doesn't matter wh what you trade. Stock, stock options. When things go up right now on charts, they go up on very low volume. And when they drop, they drop on much heavier volume. That is a definite bear sign. That's exactly what happened to Netflix. But if you try to decipher uh, Netflix, some of you are sitting there, Netflix bulls, and you're scratching your head. Well, how can it drop? But man, they, they made good money. But hey, everything is good. Everything is looking good. Read between the lines. It's during the earnings reports, guys. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be a Sherlock Holmes. You can't be just like, well, but it's a good quarter, but they made money. But like, hello, the number one bearish thing Netflix said during the earnings report today is what? Well, we're not going to announce the number of subscribers anymore. Why Why the fuck not? You've done it for centuries. Exaggerating centuries. Like for years, right? For years, Netflix has been given a subscriber number, which has been predominantly the main driver for the reaction after Netflix earnings reports. It's the subscription number that's been driving Netflix shares up or down. So if the subscriber number's been under expectations, it always drops. If the subscriber number is over expectations, it always pumps. Okay, it's been pretty easy, right? From you know, once you know the subscriber numbers in, in the expectations, you can figure out the reaction to the earnings report. And oftentimes uh, the earnings didn't matter, the projections didn't matter, uh, which is a big deal. 
if a company tells you, well, hey, uh, we don't think we're going to do as good next quarter or next year, I mean, that would be a reason to sell, but not in the case of Netflix. So the number one reason, okay, people's been uh, buying Netflix is because of this subscriber growth. Subscri- that's been the number one metric for Netflix. And yet all of a sudden Netflix comes out and say, hey, you know what? Fuck you. We ain't going to give it to you anymore. All right. And so they're serving it under the source, but, but focus on the numbers, okay? On the numbers that, okay, they're going to try to look. There's a number of ways to increase the numbers when you're reporting your bottom line numbers, right? I mean, look at uh, uh, Amazon, look at Google. How many fucking people have they laid off? Okay. Cost cutting. Meta, the best cost cutter of 2023, right? Fucking slashed. Thousands of fucking people, hundreds of thousands of people, uh, Facebook lays off, and the numbers look good. There's the fucking magic trick, okay? But so if you read between the lines, Netflix report is highly bearish because what they are saying, and that's like, this is the killer of all growth stocks. I mean, Netflix is like, it's not just a short when the market opens tomorrow, it's fucking short, 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 fucking buy Netflix puts, 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 puts. And hopefully initially in the morning, which I don't think is going to happen, but if the gods of the market are willing, Netflix is going to bounce on what? Light volume, small volume in relation to the volume on which is going to sell off. Okay, so that's your moment. That's your moment of entry, the magnificent entry on Netflix tomorrow come uh, uh, April 19, 2024, because Netflix just signed its death verdict. They're basically saying, I mean, just think about it. Why would Netflix say, don't pay attention any longer to our subscriber numbers? We had you focused on that for years, for like over 10 years. We, we, we had you focused on the subscriber numbers. Why? Well, because we were spending too much fucking money on buying content and on doing stupid shit that hurt our bottom line. Okay, well, we're at the point we know, okay, we're not going to be able to uh, ramp up our subscriber growth numbers next quarter or next year. Nowhere. This is the best as it fucking gets. This is what Netflix told you if you try to decipher what they said between the lines. Netflix just said the growth stage is over. And what other reasons would you have to buy a growth stock if the growth is officially over? Wow. Could they have made it maybe a little bit more uh, I mean, not, not just so blatant. Not just so right in your face. Short it. This is what they told you on the earnings call today. Short the fuck out of our shares. Because this is as good as it's going to get for Netflix. Netflix is fucked. Okay. And you wonder. Okay. Netflix. Uh, I mean. Uh, his, historically. When I say historically. Performance wise. I mean. Over the last 10 years. I mean. Clearly. Netflix is the fucking uh, stock. In relation to. Let's say. Disney. And of course. Disney didn't catch on to the. Uh, train, you know, until a couple of years ago when they started doing their streaming, right? But now, I mean, the weakness in Disney shares has been going on for multiple years now, okay? Because it's been the weaker part of the streaming business, right? That was the sign that at some point Netflix is going to fold. Netflix just folded. And it still trades, at the moment, I'm recording this after hours. I mean, first it shoots up to $640 and then it fucking drops. It's around like six, uh, 580, five, 588 area after hours. So you're looking at that. If it makes a move to like 600 area, 595, 600 tomorrow, fuck, it is the short of a lifetime, guys. You don't have to think twice about it. It's just pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull, short the fuck out of Netflix. I mean, it's a simple trade. You know, a growth company is telling you they're not growing anymore. That is the only reason somebody would say, hey, don't pay attention to our growth numbers. Don't pay attention to our subscriber numbers anymore. We want you to focus on our other numbers, which is bottom line, which is like, okay, what what, uh, uh, after basically the company pays out everything. Okay. 
well, focus on that number. Well, that number can be highly manipulated, but let's say Netflix is going to be the next company to lay off a bunch of people. So, okay, they're going to save some money. So the expenses are going to go down. So the bottom line number is going to look better. Okay, but what does that mean? Where's the growth story? I mean, when a company begins to lay off a shitload of people, where's the growth story? When the company is growing, I mean, just put the two and two. I mean, come on. Hello? Anybody fucking there? I mean, you don't lay off a shitload of people, okay, which they have not said that yet. I'm just saying that's what's coming next, okay? Uh, just read between the lines, right? Don't look at what they're saying. And, of course, they're supposed to, you know, uh, make solid sound and forward-looking statements, Okay, but that's like, I mean, it's just like an analyst saying, hey, I'm, uh, I've been bullish on this stock. I've had a buy rating on it. And now I'm going to a fucking sell. <laughs> what the fuck happened? You were just, uh, you went from a buy. You didn't even go from buy to hold. You went straight from buy to sell. <laughs> Man, you skipped a few steps there, buddy. But that's what Netflix just did. Okay, and officially, it's one of the easiest shorts in the fucking world because, uh, you know, I think Wall Street will be unloading the fuck out of Netflix tomorrow because, you know, there are reasons to sell. When a top is a top and the company itself tells you it's a fucking top, well, it can't be the bottom. It's the fucking top. So for that reason, uh, I just wanted to record this quick message about a move to in the market, Kramer. Deal with the headlights. Oh, my God. What is that? It pumps and it dumps. Oh, what? what is that called? It's a move to. What does Netflix do? It's a move to. Okay, learn how to trade a fucking move to. You're going to be a rock star in 2024, guys, and it is not too late. Get in touch with 13 Mark Moves Coach uh, by going to 13 Mark TV. Click the big orange button. Or simply click the link somewhere below this video. Guys, we've got some really, really crazy fucking trades coming up your way. Uh, do not miss the 500x trade. I'm saying, okay, I mean, to nail a 500x, a lot of things need to go perfectly well. Okay, but when the current market conditions where 30 market moves is going to be nailing trades like nobody fucking else in the world. Because this type of market environment, we know how to read it. That's what we do best. We are the short sellers of the fucking world. We know the charts when they're about to unfold to the downside. We know when the big move is about to fucking happen. We've been prophesizing it for the last 90 days, 120 days, and it is here. And yet, we are telling you that there is one thing that can actually go up 500x. So uh, don't miss that fucking trade, guys. Get in touch with us now. Okay, uh, happy trading tomorrow. And guys, if you did not yet 10x your account in the last 10 days, okay, uh, it's only because you didn't get in touch with the 13 market moves. So don't miss your fucking chance, guys. Actually, this is what we're going to do. All right, if you sign up right now, this is this is how confident we are that you will 10x your account, okay, Instead of 10 days, if you sign up to trade with Thursday Market Moves Coach tonight, okay, we're going to do it in seven days. Okay, so 10x your account in seven fucking days. I'll get $13,000 straight up from Thursday Market Moves. We'll give you all of our courses. Actually, uh, the price tag is probably over 13 k on all, on all the courses. But guys, you can't fucking lose with 13 Market Moves at this point in time. So... Take action. This is your fucking chance. Let's roll.